Salam and welcome. Today's lesson is about the oxidation of alkenes. The oxidation means increasing in the number of oxygen, okay, or losing electrons, okay, or increasing in the oxidation number. So we have different definitions for oxidation. We're going to cover or let's say concentrate on the term of oxidation in terms of getting oxygen atoms. So according to what we see, we have alkenes, which means you have the double bond. The double bond will undergo oxidation process, but the oxidation in this case contains, or let's say passes through two pathways. The pathway number one, when you use cold, diluted, acidified, chemino four. The chemino four is a reagent that is the source of oxygen in this case. We notice that it's KMNO4 oxygens. It contains oxygens. So we can represent this word like diluted acidified KMNO4 by um, H plus KMNO4, and you have to write diluted in this case. All right. And the second pathway that we can make oxidation by is when you use hot concentrated acidified. KMNO4, okay, you just do it like this and you put heat in here. So as we can see here in this process, what makes these, uh, let's say, pathways, like in cold or in hot, different um, is giving the different products. So let's just start with the first one, which is the oxidation process by cold dilute acidified KMNO4. Put in your mind, the KMNO4 is oxidizing agent. It's oxidizing agent, and it's powerful, and it has a color of purple, okay? It's, it's a purple color. So let's take an example of how to do the product in this case. Put in your mind, uh, let's take uh, CH2, double bond, CH, CH3. In this case, we have alkene. and we're going to make oxidation for this alkene by adding acidified KMNO4 and it's cold, okay, and it's cold in this case, and dilute. Once you use oxidation by cold, by cold, acidified, and dilute, KMNO4, generally the product will be the OH groups, okay, will attack this carbon and another one will attack this carbon forming something or let's say a compound which called diol so as we can see you will have c i just want to draw it in the display formula okay which is better in understanding and here we have c with h hydrogens here we have oh group and we here have another oh group how many carbons we have first we have one one two and three then this is a propane so we can write the propane as it is, and we put the position of the OH groups. The OH groups are in carbon 1 and carbon 2. We can say 1, 2, and then we write diol. Then the compound is propane 1,2-diol, which means the presence of the two OH groups. So what we conclude from this lesson, the oxidation by cold dilute KMNO4 leads to produce diol which is a compound that contains two OH groups in this case. All right. Put in your mind something. The KMNO4 is a chemical and powerful oxidizing agent with a purple color. So once you make this reaction, okay, like let's say mix the KMNO4 with this alkene, the solution will change from purple to colorless. Okay, because the diols which considered as a certain type of alcohol, is colorless. So one of the observations in this reaction is changing the solution from purple to colorless. Another test that we can use to test the alkenes in this case, by the way, you can use the KMNO4 for testing the alkenes. Another test, which is the Br2, Br2 aqueous. Once you add the Br2 aqueous on the alkene, you notice that the bromine has a color Okay, when it's in aqueous form, and once you add a talkin, it makes reaction, and then it becomes colorless. Another thing that you have to put in your mind, 
can noi deduce the structure of alkene from diol? For example, if I give you a diol like, um, let's say, butane, butane, two, three, diol. If I ask you, can I determine the alkene, okay, that came from this compound, it's very easy. You can look at these carbon, carbon number two and carbon number three. And each contains OH group when we say diol. So if you want to change this compound to alkene, you can make a double bond between carbon 2 and carbon 3. So let's draw this compound first and then explain what I'm meaning in here. The butane means carbon, 4 carbons. Okay, we have 4 carbons. When we say 2 and 3 diol, it means we have OH group in carbon number 2 and OH in carbon number 3. Perfect. And now my process is, how can I do the alkene process or how can I change it to alkene? Okay, we oxidize the alkene to take this compound. But if I want to take the original one, you have to make a double bond between carbon 2 and carbon 3. So the compound will be like this. It will be put2ene. Okay, so this is the How idea. can I draw the skeletal formula and the structural formula for these compounds that we have here, for example? So if you look this in here, how can I translate it to a structural formula? So let's start with the first one here. We have CH3, then you write CH3. And this one has OH group and H. You write it like this, CH and it has OH group, you can put in a bracket, and then you go to the third carbon, you have the same thing, you have CH and with OH, and finally you have CH3. So this is the structural formula for this compound. If you want to draw the skeletal formula, you can count how many carbons we have. We have four, then you draw four carbons, one, two, three, four, and you have OH groups on the second and the third carbons, and this is the skeletal formula for that. If you want to look at this carbon in here, or let's say this compound, how can I translate it to a structural formula? You look at this carbon, here we have CH3, okay, the second carbon is CH, and we have another carbon which is CH and CH3. By the way, you just notice that we have a double bond in here, okay? Because if you look at this carbon, how many bonds are bonded to? It's bonded to hydrogen, it's bonded to this carbon, and it's bonded to this carbon. So it's three bonds, which means we have double bond in this case. So you can write it in this case, or you can write it like this, C, and you can show the double bond if you want. Both are correct. And another thing, and finally, if you want to draw it in term of, of a scalar formula, you have four carbons, you draw like one, two, three, and you have the double bond, which is between the second and the third carbon. So this is all what you need about the oxidation of this is a process.